white and a light magenta. I do hate it when you were um, painting away thinking you're filming and the video the camera's not even on but I would um, at this point I'm just going to tell you what I did I took some black paint and um, on my 12 filbert brush I just put some um, black in the back for uh, background trees and then I painted on some cedar with ox green ox chrome oxidine green and I put a little blue river with phalo blue and so that's where we're at at this point all right, we're coming back with my filbert brush. We're picking up some white, and we're just going to come in here and lay it down beside my river. Let's get the other side. Just gonna cover up our pink on the bottom. Okay, so if I want to come here at this where this line is and just tap a little, I can make it kind of not have the um. straight line. That'll be perfectly fine. <coughs> now, I'm going to pick up my white and I'm going to do my trees and I'm going to try to bring this one to the side. And then I'm just going to tap in some snow. And I may bring this tree right here down. It's just a coordinate. What I put in there. my 10 over 0 liner brush, my burnt sienna, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put me a cabin right here. So it's going to kind of wrap around the back side. I made like an A shape. It's all buck without one of the legs. <laughs> and then we'll just bring these down. I'm going to put my chimney there. And then I'm just going to close these in. a little ridge on the rock right there that <laughs> just fill it in let that dry and what I want to do is grab a little bit of white and I'm going to put just a little well I think i got to make a bigger moon because <laughs> I made a mess but that's okay <laughs> I can show you how to clean that off just take I didn't even really need the water <laughs> I just got too much white on my finger so I'm just going to put a little bit right here and just make it into a little circle. And there's our moon. Alright, let's pick up a little white with our 10 over 0 liner brush and then just put in a few stars. Okay, and we'll let that dry. 
dry. All right, we're going to put some snow on, uh, make some smoke out of our chimney uh, with some white. And then we're going to put some snow up on top of our chimney. And here, we're just going to come across our roof with some snow. And then we're just going to fill it in with some white. Who doesn't love snow in a cabin in the woods? I know I would. <laughs> Now we're just going to add our little logs to our cabin. We just put some dots on each corner and now we're, I flattened the brush out and I've made some little lines to represent the little logs that's on the cabin. We're going to add our little door and then we're going to add some windows to our little cabin. Because if you're like me, you got to look outside. I don't like, I like plenty of windows in the house. We're going to bring those trees down, like I was talking about, and just tap in some more green. It's still kind of wet, so it's won't not to be as darker green but that's okay it's still gonna be fine that big old tree will come down in front of the cabin and we're gonna add one here on the other side of the river just bring it down a little bit I'm using my um, filbert rush my number 12 filbert for this and we might as well do one behind the house while we're here at it make it look like it's a little cozy cabin in the woods that's exactly what I wanted to do so all right at this point this has just got to dry all right we're back it's dried and I made a mistake because I thought I had it up where you could see it but I just come back on my trees and added some more snow and now I have some black I'm just going to come trim around my door And give myself a doorknob and then I'm putting some shadows on the fireplace so where the moon is shining in I have some yellow medium here that I am um, filling in bringing in some light um, from my cabins I'm picking up some more black at this point so we can do some more trim I'm going around the um, edge of the roof line just to make it look smooth and then I'm putting in my window panes in the windows and I think I'm about done so as of all paintings I'm gonna sign my name and I'm gonna put the year that I painted this which is 24 and there is the painting cabin in the woods